I just cleaned my sink and faucet and I could not believe and closed the drain so nothing falls down the hole. I couldn't believe how dirty mine was. So I'm going to look at Nick's and see how dirty his is. I'm gonna grab my towel. Oh. All right, so we're going to see what is up inside here. Oh, there should be a rubber gasket here too. Let's see. There, there's the rubber gasket. It's pretty grungy too, but if you wipe around in here, it's pretty gross. So we're gonna spray some scrubbing bubbles, bleach up in here. Scrub, make sure you always close the little drain thing. So you don't want stuff to fall and go down in there. Not that it's little enough to, but you get in that practice just in case, because the one time you forget to do it, that's when it's gonna go down the drain. Then you're dealing with a whole nother issue, taking off the P-trap underneath, which is, takes a lot more time than this right here does. All right, let's see. We'll let that water out. Okay, so there you go. That's clean. So now we've got to clean and scrub the little gasket, which is really gross. Never leave anyone's toothbrush laying out next to where you're getting ready to clean. I almost picked up my husband's toothbrush. <laughs> almost picked it up, and that's what would have gotten on it if I'd have done it. Oh, me. I would never kiss him again, so that's a good thing that I didn't do it. Let's see if I can get this little thing balanced here again. We will just have to put it like that for now. So, oh my goodness, this is unbelievably dirty. That is so gross. Think about it. You're rinsing your toothbrush every time you brush your teeth. You're probably drinking the water out of the sink, thinking, out of the faucet, thinking that, you know, it's clean. And it is clean, probably. Probably. <laughs> Until it comes through that little filter. Then all that yucky stuff, all this yucky stuff here is getting inside of your mouth. So... We're going to spray and clean. Well, we'll let the water out first again. Alright, close it. Spray everything down good. Scrub it inside of this, outside. How many wives would do this for their husbands? That's what I want to know. How many wives would get their manicures, Christmas manicures, dirty? You can't do it with gloves, at least I can't. I, I'm a hands-on person. I gotta get my hands in there and hold on to stuff and feel it. Oh man, this is some yucky stuff. Hey, maybe that's why our, it's hard to have your teeth white even if you drink coffee or tea. If you're putting this black stuff on your teeth and you don't even know you are, hmm. Your dentist may not want you to see this video. He may want you to keep using that dirty water. <laughs> Rinse everything off. Put it back together. Oh, a little bit. Scrub a little bit right there. Okay. Don't forget the gasket. If you forget the gasket, it's not going to come out right. The water will squirt out the sides. You want to have a good seal. Get this in here. All right. And did not do that correct. So, let's try this one more time. Uh, Alright. 
Got it in. Got that in. All right, let's see. So you remember, it's all, it, you kind of have to look at it upside down because if you don't, you'll turn it the wrong way because it's it feels opposite. Like right now, from the top, I'm turning to the left, which is loose. Right is tight. But when you look up underneath it, I'm actually turning it to the right. So that tightens it. All right. Now we have nice clean water coming out. It's not dirty. Although now I do need to clean the sink and clean all this up. It's gross. And that's the end of my how to clean the little filter basket and gasket and all that on your sinks.